I have here a rehabilitation robot glove. I'm going to go ahead and open up this box and I'm going to take it out of the box and we're going to see how this works, show all the features and some of the key points about it and we're going to try this out and test out how it works. So I'm going to see how I get this all out of the box here. So it looks like we've got the glove and the controlling unit, a power cord, this is an extra glove or the inner sleeve, I'm not sure yet, we'll figure that out. Some straps, the USB cord, and instructions. So we're going to finish taking everything out of the wrapping and learn a little bit more about how this works and how to use it. Okay, so I've got the main unit plugged in here. One thing to keep in mind is this sensing glove here does have a separate battery with a included USB charger, so you're going to have to ch charge this separate from the main unit. Um, and then we've got some straps and the glove itself. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the main uses for this and how to put the glove on and how to work the control unit. It also did come with some extra straps if you need more straps to help make sure the glove stays on how it's supposed to. It fits my hand pretty good so I'm just going to set these to the side and we're going to go ahead and start using this. So I've just got this all charged up. They're both good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and power on the control unit by pushing and holding the power button until the screen comes on. And you can see it's going to boot up and we're going to take a look and try this out. So this glove has five different modes. It's got a stretch and flex mode, a single finger mode, an automatic cycling mode, a finger exercises mode, and then this one right here is a mirror mode which uses both gloves for that mode. And then it does have a few settings as well where you can set the language, the strength of the unit, and the training interval time. So to put on the glove, you're gonna take and put each finger inside each one of these little pouches, like this. And then the glove is the thumb as well. You're gonna pull the strap around, then grab this strap here, and you're gonna wrap it across the top of your palm that way. And I've got the glove on, and we are ready to start using it. So I'm just gonna do the stretch and flex mode first. So I'm gonna hit okay to go into it and then it's got some settings that I can adjust if I need to. I'm just gonna leave everything default for this as we're just trying this out to see how this works. And I'm gonna push start and it's immediately gonna start pulling my hand back. So my hand is relaxed, it is doing everything for me. And then it's just gonna alternate between the two and then help squeeze my hand into a fist. And it does about 10 seconds, I think, for each one. And then it switches back and forth. And it's just gonna keep doing this back and forth, back and forth, to help stretch and flex my hand if I had suffered some kind of injury. Okay, so for this next mode, which is the single finger mode, you can select and turn on and off the fingers that you want it to use. I have just finger number two turned on. And then I'm gonna hit play and go. And you can see it's gonna stretch all of my fingers and then move just the one back and forth. So it's just moving just that one finger back and forth to help stretch just the one. So I went ahead and went back and turned on my thumb and my index finger, and you can see it is now doing both fingers. So you can do one finger, you can do multiple fingers. This is a really nice mode that just lets you adjust exactly what you want to go back and forth. Now I'm gonna try out the automatic cycle function, and we're gonna see how this one works. So it's just doing one finger and stretching all of them. So it looks like it's just gonna cycle through my fingers one at a time. So 
So the next mode is the finger exercises and you can adjust the speed on this one it looks like, but we're just gonna leave it as is and see what this one does. It looks like it's going to be going through and squeezing two fingers together in sequence. So bringing my thumb and each of my fingers together. So I went ahead and put on this second glove and we're going to try out the mirroring mode. So I'm just going to get it going there. One thing to make sure you do is you're gonna to want to adjust each one of these sensors for the length of your finger. So you can see how they kind of come apart when I flex so that the cylinder is touching when I've got my hand relaxed like this. That's where you want each of those set and they move in and out. So you can see this one is sticking out a little bit because my thumb's a little bit shorter. And so I've got all those set. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start this mode and it now will use my left hand to train my right hand. So if I move any of these fingers, like this one, it's gonna make that finger on the other hand go. So if I do two, it's gonna do those two. If I bring these two together, you can see it brings both of those together. If I squeeze the whole thing, it brings my whole hand in together. So it's just kind of mirroring on one side and the other. So if I want to do exercises and go through touching each of my fingers, I can to help me train one hand using the other hand. So this robot rehabilitation glove is going to be really handy for somebody that's had a stroke or if you've got some atrophy in some muscles or you're just losing some of your muscle capability in one of your hands, and it's gonna help you retrain that hand and get the muscles back up. It is really, really soft on the hand. It doesn't hurt at all. It just helps move your hand for you and help you retrain your hand and your muscles. I'd highly recommend it to anybody, especially if you've had a stroke or something like that and you need to get the use of your hand back. I know. It can take a long time for that to happen, but this is gonna help make it easier and smoother and even help make it go faster. It's a really nice rehabilitation glove.